Tuesday. Oh, you're off the Tuesday. Tuesday, we're out at um, we're out in the morning. scientists and researchers at Land Care Research and at the University of Waikato. And out of the collective efforts and that knowledge, the Hamilton Halo project was born. Lastly, from the university's point of view, I'd just like to acknowledge the foundation for uh, science, Research and Technology, which through the University of Waikato and Lanky Research has funded our contribution to undertaking this translocation. We think, we think bellbirds will do really well here. They used to be here until 80 or 100 years ago. They were taken out by um, predation, by pest mammals and, and, and mostly ship rats. And there's now a lot of pest control happening in the surrounding forest and in, in um, Hamilton City itself. And so we think the, 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 the problem that got rid of them is, is in some ways been resolved or we can manage. There's heaps of food for them here. They, they, they're not quite so dependent on, on nectar as two are. They eat more insects and they can forage on, on smaller flowers. Previous bellbird translocations haven't been very successful, uh, but there hasn't been a lot of intensive monitoring, so they're not really sure why they failed. It's most likely due to either predation or dispersal away from where they've been put, or a combination of the two. But it's not really that well known, so one of the objectives of this study is to establish that by using radio transmitters. And we can look at that in different sites. We've got the urban environment and then uh, a bush environment on Waiheke Island, which is a big island, and then there's uh, a bush and farmland environment on Motuihi Island, which is much smaller.
that would really like um, people to carry around binoculars at all times and, and um, watch out for those those bands on the, on the bird's legs. It's really important because each band uh, really uh, represents a um, an individual bird. So then we know that from where that bird came from and how many times that bird has been seen already. So that's really important, that's the kind of records we want. And all that can be reported on our website or through our 0800 number on Environment Waikato. There is no reason why more birds that we think of as rare forest birds can't be put into New Zealand cities. You know, they, they have some significant opportunities, there's fewer predators, there's more people to do predator control and there is, um, there's, there's, as far as we know, adequate habitat in, in New Zealand cities and other forest birds um, could well be put in here in the future.